Hello again, I'm Jordan, I'm a 3D artist at Open Mind Studios. We're back again today with the Nanobot. In the previous three videos, you saw me create a low poly mesh, UV unwrap texture, rig, and create a control rig for our Nanobot. Today, in this video, I'll be animating it. In the first part of this video, you can see me creating the first idol. This is a basic breathing idol. Yeah, the Nanobot may not be able to breathe, but we want to give him some life, give him some basic twitches, the eyes, some movement of his little injector on his mouth, and create some flaps of his back. This is inspired by things like bugs, if you think of a cricket when its wings flat. Whilst the nanobot itself may not be a living creature like a little bug, what I'm trying to do here is anthropomorphize the nanobot itself to make it feel alive, to make it really come to life as a character instead of just an inanimate robot. It's incredibly important to bring character to any kind of thing that you're animating in 3D. 3D by itself can look quite dull, quite inanimate, robotic in nature. The moment you add slight movements or twitches or, in, or become inspired by nature itself and apply that to something as simple as this little robot here you can really make it come to life and feel like a, a living creature in this part of the video you'll see me creating the transformation where the little nanobot will jump up and fold his legs into his body and then he can start to fly around in terms of jam crazy the new strain this is important because it will allow the nanobot to quickly move to the desired position where the player can assign and then deploy and it will sit on the cells and inject or do other things depending on the type of nanobot that you put out there. In the final part of this video you'll see the, the fully textured and animated nanobot where he's standing on a little cell, checking his surroundings, and will then transform and fly away. Please remember to like and share this video.